The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she, and she conceived, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Go forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, whom incarnation of Christ your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the divine assistance remain with us always. 
Amen. And may the souls of all the faithfully departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Celebrate God with your hand. Celebrate God with your voice. Celebrate God in all that you do, and He will be with you. Listen to Him with your eyes. Listen to Him with your heart. Listen to Him as He speaks with you. And he will be with you. Touch him in all those you love. Touch him in all those you love. Touch him in them and let them touch you. And he will be with you. This Mass is offered for the soul of Teresa Martin de Silva, Darren Vegas, and Esperance de Souza, and for the box intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today the church remembers and celebrates the memoria of Saint Bruno, a monk who spent most of her time in solitude, in prayer, in a life reflecting on the mercy and gifts of God, who along with his friend founded religious order. We pray that the Lord may help us to become contemplatives in action. St. Bruno said, we need not reform anything because nothing has been deformed. Let us also pray for this original grace, this original innocence that Bruno spoke about so that we may be renewed in the love of Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together, I confess, I confess to Almighty to God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Song. 
let us pray. O God, who called Saint Bruno to serve you in solitude, grant through his intercession that amid the changes of the world, we may constantly look to you alone, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jonah. It displeased Jonah exceedingly that God did not do the evil which he had said he would do to Nineveh. And he was angry. And he prayed to the Lord and said, O Lord, is not this what I said when I was yet in my country? That is why I made haste to flee to Tarshish. For I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and relenting from disaster. Therefore now, O Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. And the Lord said, Do you dwell to be angry? Jonah went out of the city and sat to the east of the city and made a booth for himself there. He sat under it in the shade till he should see what would become of the city. Now the Lord God appointed a plant and made it come up over Jonah that it might be a shade over his head to save him from his discomfort. So Jonah was exceedingly glad because of the plant. But when dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm that attacked the plant so that it withered. When the sun rose, God appointed a scorching east wind and the sun beat down on the head of Jonah, so that he was faint. And he asked that he might die, and said, It is better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, Do you do well to be angry for the plant? And he said, Yes, I do well to be angry angry enough to die. And the Lord said, You pity the plant, for which you did not labor, nor did you make it grow, which came into being in a night and perished in a night. And I should not pity Nineveh, that great city, in which there are more than 120,000 persons who do not know their right hand from their left and also much cattle. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are slow to anger, O Lord, and abundant in mercy. You are slow to anger, O Lord, and abundant in mercy. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for I lift up my soul to you, O Lord. You, you are, are slow, slow to anger, O Lord, and abundant, abundant in, in mercy. mercy. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to my voice in supplication. You, you are, are slow, slow to, to anger, anger, O Lord, Lord and, and abundant in mercy. All the nations you have made shall come, 
They will blow down before you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. You are slow to anger, O Lord, and abundant in mercy. You have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba Father. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, Teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples, and he said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear children, young people, and my dear sisters and brothers, prayer is a link with God. Prayer is a bridge between our soul and with the Creator. Prayer is a dialogue between a person and the Almighty. True prayer creates relationship, relationship not only with God, but also fellow human beings. It creates bond and it breaks various bondages which chain us down. Jesus taught us prayer, our Father. By doing so, he authorized us to pray. He also gave us authority to call his Abba, our Father, not only Jesus' Father. And this way, we are related with Jesus as a brother. Jesus teaches us that if we pray from heart, God is our Father. And Jesus becomes our brother, a companion who journeys with us. The real kernel of today's gospel, the juice, is prayer. And the real kernel of the prayer is forgiveness. It is not only forgiveness but that in forgiveness that we will be able to relate well with God and with fellow human beings. That's why our Father prayer 
is to be prayed entirely not half part to be left with one party and the other half with the other party quite often we do that then the result is not sure but when we entirely pray together our father and we do not break the prayer give us this day as though the first part is taken for granted the second part doesn't become loaded and that's how forgiveness is possible when first we establish relationship with that father that father who is abba with unconditional love god the father then only we will get the strength and courage to forgive saint bruno a carthusian monk from cologne diocese archdiocese of germany born in 1035 ad and died in 1101 was a mystic who devoted his life to prayer and that's how he got prompted to start this religious order called carthusian order he says when you practice true obedience it is clear that it is the fruit of divine scripture and so he says that this obedience to the will of god is possible if we really take our prayer our father seriously let's ask the good lord to bless us so that while reciting the prayer our father while praying rosary that we understand grasp and put into practice that prayer which is taught by jesus himself our father this bread which earth has given and human hands have made become for us the bread of heaven O oh Lord we pray we bless it and we lift it up with holy hands we raise please accept our sacrifice of praise May this cup of sacred wine, food of the wine, become for us your precious blood shed for all mankind. We lift it up, this saving cup, with holy hands we raise. Please accept our sacrifice of praise. May it be acceptable, may it be acceptable, may it be acceptable, 
may it be acceptable for our good and the good of all his church for our good and the good of all his church pray sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice of hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church receive o lord we pray the offerings made for the salvation of your people so that through the intercession of blessed bruno we may flee we may flee the enticements of sin and draw near to the company of heaven through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for in the marvelous confession of your saints you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled their great example leads us courage therefore when prayers sustain us in all we do and so lord with all the angels and saints we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim your glory o sun in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord o sun in the highest o sun in the highest You are indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
we proclaim your day. O Lord, until you come again. O Lord, until you come again. O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Bruno, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Felix, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us make a spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, Come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, Thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me to this spiritual communion. Hear our prayer, we are your children, and we've gathered here today, we've gathered here to pray, hear our cry, Lord, we need your mercy, 
and we need your grace today. Hear us as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, you us from heaven. Forgive our sins, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, hear us from heaven. Forgive our sins, we pray. Let us pray. Grant our request, we pray, O Lord our God, that defended by the protection of blessed Bruno, we may live by this sacrament of your wisdom in serenity and moderation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through our Lord, through Christ our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain forever. Amen. Go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And you sit down. My dear children, the young people, my dear sisters and brothers, we began this online Eucharist from 30th of August 2021. Today is 5th, 6th of October. Tomorrow is the feast of Our Lady of Rosary. And on the occasion of this feast, of Our Lady of Rosary, that we open the church doors and windows to all the faithful by observing standard operating procedures. And so all the weekday masses are free for all. The morning seven o'clock and evening six, 630 mass is open to any community that wants to come for Mass. However, on Saturday evening and Sunday, we'll have the schedule allotted to a particular community. For example, on Saturday evening, 5 o'clock, the community number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 is invited. Whereas for the 6.30 Mass, community number 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is the way every week we will make the schedule so that more and more parishioners could join, participate, experience and encounter the risen Lord. And so, from tomorrow, we will be not having online Mass. However, on Sunday, the diocese will send us the link for those people, the persons below 10 and mainly above 65, who are encouraged to stay at home. These persons benefit. We will be sending 
the link that will come from the diocese. Someday, we may also have to transmit the Mass from here for the entire diocese. That's the way every Sunday different parishes will get turned to relay their Mass to share the liturgy with the rest of the diocese. And so, from tomorrow, we'll not be having the online Mass, but we will have a rosary continued every night, 8 o'clock, through a system that is in place. Thank you for your patience and also for understanding. Wish you a very good day. Great indeed are your works, O Lord, now and evermore. Great indeed are your works, O Lord, now and evermore. The universe night and day tells of all your wonder. You are our life and our life. We shall praise you always. Great indeed are your works, O Lord, now and evermore. Great indeed are your works, O Lord, now and evermore.